Hello, this is Mike Taylor. I'm a senior SAP consultant with Forgestic in Canada. And a common question that I get is, how do I make a Crystal Reports layout for printing outgoing checks? Currently, there's no default Crystal Reports layout included in the standard system. You only get the print layout design. So we all love uh, PLD but the Crystal Reports layouts are far superior. So I have made one throughout the years, and I want to share that with you and share how to install it. There are many drawbacks to the PLD layouts. Um, they don't always fit. They're hard to adjust the sizes of the stubs. You can't move things around properly. Um, it's really hard to bring in tables to the PLD layout. It, again, it just has all the general drawbacks that any PLD layout will have. So I decided to share this. It's something I kind of install in all my installations and uh, it should be useful for you if you're searching around for one. So what you want to do is download the data package that is in the notes below. So go below in the comments and download the data package, which will include the SQL view that you're going to need. I used an SQL view because it increases the speed dramatically when you're doing larger checks. Um, slowing down the checks can always get annoying if you're waiting for 20 checks and it takes forever to kind of figure things out versus a command. So an SQL view is much faster than a Crystal Reports command. Uh, it's very simple to install and I'll show you how to do that. I will show you how to install the Crystal Reports layout and I will show you how to assign it to a house bank account and then we'll do a test on checks. So remember if I ever say SBO it stands for SAP Business One and um, yeah let's jump into it. I just want to mention I have a Udemy companion presentation I have a Crystal Reports for SAP Business One course there. So again, in the comments below, you can go there and check it out. It's not very expensive. And uh, I teach the whole course. It's self-paced online. And you can learn from me all the tips and tricks and how to start a layout or a report from scratch. And uh, yeah, go check it out. Let's jump now into Business One. All right, all right. <clears throat> so we're here. You've downloaded this SAP Check Layout zip file, which again is in the notes below. This contains these two files, Check View and the SAP Check Layout V6.0. So the first step before you install the layout is to get access to SQL and install this simple check view. Okay, so basically just copy the entire thing. Control A, Control C. Go to your SQL server manager. In this case, this is SQL 2012 on my machine. Go to your databases. Open up the specific database you want to add it to. Open up views. If you're not really familiar with SQL views, um, it's the the best way to kind of understand it is it's kind of just like a query that can almost act as a table. So when you're working with Crystal Reports and you're working with something like a command, um, the command pulls all the information over to Crystal Reports, then it does all the calculations. It's incredibly slow. And if you're noticing that you have sluggish reports or layouts, you're probably using commands, even for simple things. Um, it becomes really inefficient and really ineffective um, when you start to do things that are really complicated. So a lot of my Crystal Reports, I'll make full SQL views, and I'll just have that one table be formatted to use for my whole report. So again, if you get my course, I have a whole section on optimizing with uh, commands versus views. Go to Views new view so you're just gonna close this we don't need to we're not gonna manually make anything it's gonna be very very simple just clear this entire thing out paste exactly what I have in there up here you're gonna click save 
then you want it to be exactly the same as the name of the file check view that's it check view boom and sorry for all you Americans I spelled it the Canadian way sorry not sorry and um, so that's all that you have to do this is basically going to go through and this is going to pull all the information for you kind of conditionally you see that there's several different types of uh, documents that are included so you're going to have the down payments credit memos etc this one's set up for outgoing payments obviously because you're going to be printing checks for outgoing payments payment runs etc so if you wanted to you could add more to this if there's other things you're going to pay but these are the ones I commonly see occurring. So uh, this allows you to pull everything really quickly in the background and link it up with your, uh, your layout. So now all we need to do, jump back into Business One, my uh, little demo system here. So the first thing you want to do is go to, uh, there's a few different ways to do this. So let's go Administration, Setup, General, Report and Layout Manager, click Import, click Next, click Browse. I'm going to go to my desktop and I'm going to import it here. So for the layout, you import it to the CHO1 layout. I already know this. There's a couple different ways to find it. Again, take my course to figure that out. Just take my word for it, CHO1, and finish. Boom, installed. So now what you want to do is go to administration setup banking house bank accounts you're going to go to the first one I'm just going to use this one here because it's just for a test scroll all the way over here to template name select SAP check v6.0 so the interesting thing about this is if you're not setting up the specific bank account here for the layout when you go to actually look at banking, outgoing payments, checks for payment, and you look in here, which you would normally do for, say, a marketing uh, layout, you would normally set your defaults here. But this has nothing to do with your account, uh, the house bank setup. So it'll literally just ignore whatever you put here, and it'll use whatever setup in the house bank account. So you can import these, maintain multiple versions if you have like a slightly different um, overflow pre-numbered check layout style. Um, you can have a couple of different ones, but you don't set it as default from here. Okay, so that's an important thing. It's always set as default from the house bank accounts. So I just set that there. So come in here, checks for payment. I just made this one. Everything's here. This one actually hasn't been printed yet. Um, push preview again it's going to use my crystal report so you have it here again it hasn't been assigned a check number I haven't printed it yet this is my recommendation to print the systems number uh, check number in smaller font up here so you would have the prenum number check number here but you want to know what the system thought the check was just in case you get things not lining up it's a best practice I usually you know try to try to get my customers to do it um, it makes more sense if you're trying to look for things and then things aren't starting you know things are starting to not line up uh, you definitely want some sort of secondary reference it's just a small little number there everything else is pretty much how you would expect it in my years month and days line up I spend a lot of time working on that and um, we have our stubs here I don't remember how many you can fit in one stub was it 30 might be 30 in one stub so you know if you're gonna go over 30 that's a lot but it's gonna kind of break it down here you're gonna have the invoice numbers you're gonna have the net amounts and everything else in there so the cool thing about this is you can use the full power of crystal reports to adjust everything you are not stuck with PLD trying to manipulate your various repetitive field areas and all those things which just never line up so this is kind of the perfectionist's dream you can bring in any table you want um, again you need to be a little bit better with crystal reports if you're going to be doing um, some of the data manipulation in there if you want to show various things um, but uh, this is a great place to start and for most people it's gonna take care of it so you know print this out and use my trick 
go to your customer. You have to be on site. This one's kind of difficult to do remotely. Go to your customer site. Get them to photocopy a check layout for you onto a blank piece of paper. Print it using this layout onto that bank uh, pre-numbered check stock layout. And then you can adjust from there. So you can adjust your repetitive areas. If you edit the Crystal Reports file I've given you, it's pretty easy to adjust for the sizes, for you know exactly where the stubs start. You could do stub check stub. Um, I've just kind of done what's most common to me is check stub stub. All right, so that basically does it for this video. Uh, make sure you check out in the show notes. You know, take a browse if you if you're interested in learning more about Crystal Reports and how it mixes with uh, SAP Business One. Check my course out. You know, if you're gonna spend, you know, if you're gonna get a consultant to do it for you, it's gonna probably cost you for one hour $150. So, you know, if you download my course, well, not download, but if you sign up for my course, you get nine plus hours. Um, I've laid it out. So if you're a complete beginner, it goes from how to find data to how to build layouts from scratch to how to edit layouts, how to build reports, how to structure the data and everything. You get all my best tips and tricks. So uh, check it out. It's worth the money. Do it yourself. Save a ton of money. Get a jump start. Even if you're a consultant, um, you know, it's still great. Just boom, it's, you know, it's a small investment and, you know, it'll, re it'll pay for itself very easily. So thank you. Uh, leave questions for me um, and have a great evening.